All right, guys, it is championship weekend in college football. We have a ton of games this weekend. We got the conference championships for college football. We got a bunch of supplemental games in college football. We have a bunch of great college basketball, and we actually have two NFL games, which is pretty cool to have on a Saturday, especially with all this, this other stuff going on. Quick recap of Thursday. The lock on Thursday was Raiders, Chargers, over 52 and a half. They did cover that. Now, the haters will say that it took overtime to get there, but guess what? It doesn't matter. A cover is a cover. They, they went over. That's what we like. We hit that lock. We had our first ever triple lock in the shot and shotgun with the shot and shotgun boys, Stevie Player Props, Chrissy Moneyline Locks, and Shawnee Sizzle. Their lock of the night was Austin Eckler with five and a half receptions. Somehow that did not hit. He ended the night with four receptions. I think he might still be a little bit injured. Not sure. Uh, we also had a couple college basketball games that night that we picked. Creighton minus six and a half, they covered. And, uh, geez, what was the other one here? Kansas plus three against Texas Tech. And they actually ended up winning that game. So we did pretty well Thursday night. We're gonna try to carry that momentum into today. Let's get right into the college football. Ohio State minus 18 and a half against Northwestern. I love it. I, I, I'll take it with any amount of points they want. 18 and a half is an easy cover. They're going to absolutely blow out Northwestern. I think these teams as top four and really top five or six are all trying to pad their resume to secure those votes to get into the playoff. This is their last shot to do it. Ohio State, people are giving them a hard time because they don't think they played enough games. I think they are absolutely going to destroy Northwestern. I also like the over in that game, 56 and a half. I think that one's going through the roof. Texas A&M, they are currently number five. They're trying to get in. They think they deserve to be in. You got Clemson playing Notre Dame this weekend. One of those teams is going to lose. Texas A&M wants to take their spot. They're minus 14 against Tennessee. Tennessee's not that good. I think A&M handles business. I think they cover 14. Again, they're trying to get those votes to get into the playoff. Clemson, minus 10 and a half against Notre Dame. Notre Dame won the first matchup. Trevor Lawrence didn't play. I think I feel like Dabo Sweeney and Trevor Lawrence are out for blood. They want to show that they are the best team in the country, which they very well might be. Again, all the points, however many points they want. Clemson minus ten and a half. I think that's it. I think they cover that easy. I like the over in that game. Also sixty and a half. I I think they're just too much for Notre Dame to handle. I think Trevor Lawrence comes out to show that not only are they the best team, but he's the best player in the country. Minnesota plus 12 and a half against Wisconsin. This is one of the supplemental games I was talking about. Uh, Wisconsin has not looked good toward, after they were eliminated from any type of contention in the Big Ten Championship because they had too many cancellations. They kind of looked like they've given up on this season. Minnesota is not the Minnesota from last year, but I think that they can at least cover 12 and a half against Wisconsin, maybe even out, an outside shot to win. Penn State minus 16 versus Illinois. I think they're going to cover it. Illinois stinks. Penn State, while they started out 0-5 and looked absolutely atrocious, have turned things around. They've righted the ship. I think they're going to try to close strong. I still th I'm still, i not really sure what the rules are this year. I still think that they end up getting into a bowl game with this win. So I think they are going to try to do what they can to pad their resume as much as they can. I mean, you know, you're not looking at a great bowl game. But at this point, I'm sure they're going to take what they can get. Alabama minus 17 versus Florida. Again, this is another one. All the points. They are going to absolutely smoke Florida. Florida, they ruined their season last week by throwing a shoe and losing to LSU. It is that they, they have no shot against Alabama has been an absolute force, especially the second half of their season. They're going to blow them out. It's not even going to be close. Now, the over under in that game is like 70. Ah. Uh, I, I don't like it. I don't want to touch it. I think it could go either way. Cincinnati, another one trying to trying to make that resume look a little bit better. They're undefeated, but they're group of five. They're not power five. They haven't played in weeks. So they have virtually no shot to get into the playoff. But if they are going to have any shot to get into the playoff, it's going to be by beating Tulsa by about 1,000 points. They're minus 14. I think that they run it up on them. 
give you that now. That's that's what I like for college football. Give you my NCAA basketball picks. Iowa versus Gonzaga. Gonzaga is number one. Iowa is number three. Gonzaga hasn't played in about two, two and a half weeks because of COVID concerns. They're still three-point favorite against Iowa. Iowa is a wagon. I, They are so good. Luca Garza is unbelievable. I love them plus three. Honestly, I like them money line. I think they're going to win this game. I, I just think they they have been rolling. Gonzaga hasn't been playing. I think they carry the momentum they have, and I think they beat them. Wisconsin, minus five and a half versus Louisville. You know I'm a Big Ten guy to begin with. I'm, I'm riding with the Big Ten until they prove me wrong. They've looked really good this year. I like Wisconsin to cover. Wisconsin's got a pretty good team. UNC, minus three versus Kentucky. Kentucky is struggling struggling hard. I I think this could end up being a lot more than three points. North Carolina has a pretty decent team. Definitely better than Kentucky. I think they cover the three easy. Purdue minus six versus Notre Dame. Notre Dame has not been very good this year. Purdue, they're probably middle of the pack team in the Big Ten right now, but they, they're not bad. I think they cover six. Ohio State minus one and a half versus US, UCLA. Excuse me. I think they cover that easy. Ohio State's, again, Good team, top 25 team. Big 10 is a monster this year. Villanova minus 22 versus St. Joe's. It's a monster number, but I, I really like Villanova. They got it. They got a good team this year. I I don't know how far they're going to go tournament-wise, but they're, they're a top 10 team. They'll probably be a top 10 team all season. 22 points is a big number. I think they can handle that versus St. Joe's. Now we look at the NFL. I'm going to give you... I got a couple same game parlays. I got some straight up picks. We got some some picks from Stevie Player Props. We'll start with him. We got a couple same game parlays here. We'll start Bills, Josh Allen, anytime and over 29 and a half rushing yards. Stefan Diggs, anytime touchdown and over 82 and a half receiving yards. Cole Beasley, over 62 and a half receiving yards. Cole, look at Cole Beasley's stats. He's setting the world on fire this year. It's unbelievable. Very quietly having an excellent season. K.J. Hamler over 34 and a half receiving yards. We also got Packers, Panthers, Devontae Adams anytime, Robert Tanyan anytime, and over 39 and a half receiving yards. Aaron Rodgers over 293 and a half passing yards and over nine and a half rush yards. I love Aaron Rodgers over rush yards. He always kind of sneaks in there. Mike Davis, over 51 and a half rush yards. And we got a little parlay here, not same game. Money line parlay from Stevie Player Props. Bills money line, Packers money line. I love it. That's a lock. Bet the house on that. Neither of these teams are losing this weekend. Now for me, I got two same game parlays also. First one, Bills Broncos. Bills minus five and a half. Now I've seen a minus five, minus five and a half. I, I think they cover either way. They, they win this game by at least a touchdown. Bills minus five and a half. Cole Beasley anytime touchdown. Buffalo defense slash special teams anytime touchdown. Halftime, full time. Bills, Bills. They're going to lead this game the whole way through. Broncos just aren't good enough to hang when the Bills are, are really starting to peak at the right time, too. Packers, Panthers, same game parlay. Packers minus seven and a half. Again, I've seen it minus seven and a half. I've seen it minus eight. I think they probably win this by 10 at least. Packers minus seven and a half. Devontae anytime. Robert Tanyan anytime. Halftime, full time. Packers, Packers. Again, they're going to lead this wire to wire. And Aaron Rodgers over nine and a half rushing yards. Like I said, I, I love betting down on Aaron Rodgers. It's always a very low number, and he, he hits it. Straight up picks for me. Bills on the road versus the Broncos, minus five and a half. Like I said, they're winning that game by a touchdown. I like them to cover anything, anything under probably eight points. Packers, minus seven and a half, minus eight. Again, I think they win it by 10. This is, this is a hell of a weekend. Locks, shot and shotgun locks. That It was very hard to choose because I love so much on this slate. So I I tried to narrow it down. There's probably about six, seven picks here that I wanted to, to pick as my lock. 
I ended up narrowing it down to three. I'm going to do my own little triple lock here. Ohio State minus 18 and a half, Clemson minus 10 and a half, Alabama minus 17. Like I said, these teams all want to prove that they are the one, guarantee themselves a playoff spot, guarantee themselves a good seed. So for some reason, they all feel like they're not getting the credit they deserve, even though they've been top four all season. So we're going to go Ohio State minus 18 and a half, Clemson minus 10 and a half, Alabama minus 17. Again, we're going house whiskey. Sorry about that. House whiskey. And in honor of the snowstorm that we got and the blizzard of awesome games this weekend, we're going to go double blizzard. Pro tip, when you're doing one of these cans, just cut the label out there if you're going to shotgun it. All right. So Saturday is going to be a hell of a day. Sunday, again, is going to be another nice day, a full slate of NFL, and we got some, some good college basketball. Then I'll be making a lot of picks there. And then Monday, we get the NBA back. So this is really – and it's Christmas week. So, I mean, at this point, what more could you ask for? All right, here we go to our triple lock. I love you guys. I'll see you Sunday. Like, share, subscribe, comment.